Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Waha Racha Kodash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. The book of St. Matthews, chapter 13, starting at verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speaketh thou unto them in parables? Verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And that them here in this current 2019, the year of Karagma, is two thirds of our people. All right, because two thirds of our people have not received the mercy from the Most High through Yahweh Shah. All right. And one of those mercies is the gift of faith. All right. According to the book of Ephesians, chapter two and verse eight. All right. The gift of understanding. OK, let's read verse 11 again. And he said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right. So we have been blessed to know, all right, the mysteries. All right. And we all know that knowing means knowledge. All right. And our people, two thirds of our people do not have the knowledge of the most high. All right. And that leads to destruction. When you don't have the knowledge of the Most High, all right, and the way to salvation, which is Yahweh Shah. This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Amer Native Americans, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. All right, so two thirds of our people shall be destroyed. Why? Because they lack uh, the knowledge of their salvation, which is Yahweh Shah. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Yeah, our people reject their salvation. They fan the hand, all right, at the man of the Lord that has been set up by Yahweh Shah to bring the way of salvation unto them. All right. It says, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. All right. Yeah. In that day of judgment, you shall receive the black stone. All right. Instead of a, 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 a white stone or you shall receive that black pearl instead instead of a white pearl. The white pearl represents being innocent, all right, in the day of judgment. But by you not retaining the knowledge of the Mosai, not being blessed with the knowledge of the Mosai and his son, Yahweh Shai, which is the way to your salvation, the scripture says, I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children, all right? And that's why you have a two-third, all right? Because a two-third came back in the same lot that he was in when Yahweh Shah walked the earth. They rejected their salvation back then. They didn't believe that Yahweh Shah was the son of the Most High. Thus, them coming back here in this 2019, which is the year of Karagma, in the same lot, not knowing the Most High, all right? And for that, you shall be destroyed, all right? Especially when the knowledge of your salvation has been presented unto you and you reject it. All right. Let's look into this word. Destroyed. And the Strong's H. Strong's H, 1820. Dama. Dama. And it says to cause to seize, destroy, to seize, cause to seize, cut off, destroy, perish, all right? And that's the outcome when you don't have the knowledge of the Most High or when the knowledge of the Most High is being presented unto you, all right? The way of your salvation is being presented unto you, which is Yahweh Shah. When you reject that, you're going to perish, all right? You're going to be uh, uh, ultimately done away with, all right? And that could come by the way of race riots. That could come by the way of uh, 
these Edomites, all right, which the Most High is going to put the spirit on these Edomites, which is the so-called modern day white man, all right, to come down on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, thus bringing about the time of Jacob's trouble, pursuant to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. And in those times, you're not going to have a shadow or a shade of protection. Why? Because you didn't retain the knowledge of the Most High. And when the knowledge of the Most High came unto you, all right, giving you the way to your salvation, which is Yahweh Shai, you rejected it. Therefore, you're going to perish. You're going to be destroyed. Read on. It says, my people are destroyed. So we know a clearer definition now of the word destroyed. You're going to perish. All right. And ultimately, if you make it through all of those uh, things that I just named, like the race riots, the concentration camps, you're going to ultimately be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles. All right. Let's look up this word knowledge in the Strong's H. Strong's H, 1847. Da'ath. Da'ath. And it says knowledge, knowledge, perception, skill, discernment, understanding, wisdom. And our people don't have any discernment, all right? Because the Holy Spirit is not dealing with them, okay? They don't have any skills when it comes to the truth, all right? They don't have any wisdom when it comes to the truth, when it comes to their salvation, all right? Thus leading them to a horrible death, all right? So let's read Hosea 4 and 6 again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. All right. And that's uh, the blessing blessing in remembering. All right. Because our pure minds have been stirred up by the way of remembrance. All right. Because we once had knowledge of our salvation. We once had knowledge of our powers. All right. But we was um, de deceived here in, in this time of gross darkness. But we have been blessed uh, for our pure minds to be stirred up by the way of remembrance. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that. Um, Second Peter. Chapter three and verse one. And it says. This second epistle, which is the second letter of the apostle Peter, beloved and the, the beloved are the ones that retain the knowledge of the most high. It says, I now write unto you and both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. And how did that take place? By us uh, hearing this word, all right? And the pure mind that we had, which us believing in Yahweh Shah in the ancient times, us coming back here in this current 2019, the year of Karakma, all right? Our pure minds was, was woken up once we heard this word through the men that Yahweh Shah set up to deliver this word unto. All right. This is um, Second Peter's chapter three and verse five. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse four and it says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continued as they were from the beginning of creation. All right. And that's uh, two thirds of our people uh, can fall in that category too, man. All right. Because they are the ones who scoff the most at this word. They are the ones that scoff the most at our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they have no knowledge. They are, as the scripture says, Second Peter 3 and 5, for they are willingly ignorant. See, our people are willingly ignorant, all right? They're willing, willingly uh, uh, um, in the situation of not knowing. They don't want to know, all right? They're they they're fine with Cesare Bogier, the image of Cesare Bogier, all right, being their savior, all right? It says, for this they are willingly ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, all right? But the point I wanted to make off of 2 Peter 3 and 5 is what? They are willingly ignorant. 
All right. Our people are willingly uh, ignorant, meaning they don't want to know. All right. The way to their salvation. All right. Which that's going to lead to destruction. OK. This is. Um, St. John. Chapter three. In verse 18, and it says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. All right. And we believe on him and that him is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, which sprang out of the tribe of Judah, which makes him a so-called modern day black man. And we believe on our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we have had our pure minds. Uh, stirred up by the way of remembrance and the knowledge of our salvation has come back to us. All right. We know it says he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. And that's two thirds of our people. You are condemned already. All right. Here in your current situation that you're in, you are already condemned. Why? Because you don't want to know the way of your salvation. It says because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of the most high. All right. So by you not having knowledge of your salvation, that leads you not to believe. All right. Because the Holy Spirit is not dealing with two thirds of our people. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to have their pure mind stirred up by the way of remembrance and come back to the knowledge of their salvation, which is Yahweh Shai. All right. Thus making them, uh, to have faith. And once you have faith for uh, on something, all right, you patiently wait for that something that you have faith in, which is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, coming back to deliver us. All right. That's the knowledge. All right. That we have. OK. Let's get. Um, the book of Romans, because John three and 18 says, all right. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of the most high. All right. We believe. Okay. Thus, Lord willing, if we endure unto the end and be a part of that elect number that's predestinated for salvation, we shall be delivered. We shall be delivered. Salakia. All right. Because we have the knowledge of the most high. All right. And faith in that knowledge that we have. And we are willing to patiently, which meaning to suffer. All right. For the kingdom. Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let's look up this word. Condemnation. In the Strong's G. The pronunciation. Strong's G 2631. Katakrima. Katakrima. And it says damnatory sentence condemnation all right so those who have retained the knowledge of the most high all right their pure minds have been stirred up by the way of remembrance all right in the time of judgment lord willing we be a part of that number we shall not receive a damnatory sentence and that damnatory sentence is going to come by a gruesome death of those thermonuclear missiles man all right and that's to those that don't have the knowledge of their salvation. All right. But we here at Great Millstone, starting with the head apostles, all right, and elders and the rest of the brothers, we have knowledge of our salvation. All right. Which is Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, I pray that this lesson, all right, made sense and, and was edifying. All right. We have knowledge of our salvation, which is Yahweh Shai. And that leads, all right, to us entering into our rest through knowledge, through knowing the way of salvation and acting upon it. Lord willing, I pray that this man edifying. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing that we be out of here soon and shallow one.